What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going to go over one of the most powerful commander weapons in all Fault 76. We have the Railway Rifle. Starting off from the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary Railway Rifle that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the Bloodied Effect, which is damage increases as health decreases, has the bolts explode for area damage, and it also has a plus 1 to agility. This weapon is absolutely insane for commando builds. And the mods that we're using with it is the Automatic Piston Receiver, Long Barrel, Recoil Compensating Stock, Reflex Sight, No Muzzle, and the Locomotive Paint. Now over in our demonstrations with our all-powerful railway rifle, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that is because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished. Starting with this guy up here. Look at that. We got a 67 directly to his face. And we missed that. Maybe I should get a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. A 632, and the super mutant is no more. Now, this is not a sneak build, but they do not see me, so I'm just gonna obliterate them. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Now I do recommend you get a quad railway because we only have a well, 10 ammo look how fast that shoots through it with the quad it's absolutely amazing but hey this is still doing a ton of damage look at that excuse you sirs can, can you ascend the power of the railway oh absolutely not there we go we got some distance uh oh we got this guy he has a laser rifle get your dang laser rifle away from me oh sir what, what, what's that oh god no this place is haunted look at all the flying meat that's that's terrifying. They've been killing so many vault dwellers. Oh my god, there they are. Look at that. And they cannot withstand the power of the railway. The next target on our list to fill the wrath of the railway rifle is the one, the only, the level 100 Galone behemoth that goes by the name of Greg. And oh, Greg, choo choo, you need to wake up. There we go. Look at him. Big ol' yawning boy. How you, how you doing, Greg? You doing good? You having any breakfast this morning before you die? All right, there we go. And Greg is no more. The next target on my list for the demonstrations is my arch nemesis of Vault 51, the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Linda. And look at her with all her buffoons up there. Let me just take down that guy. There we go. Goodbye, Linda. Oh my god, I gotta reload. Excuse you, Linda. Don't hit me with that laser, Linda. All right, excuse you. We're gonna blur at your face. And Linda cannot withstand the power of the railway, obvious. For our next target on the list in this godforsaken wasteland, we have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're gonna lock onto that head just like this because this is where we're gonna get the most amount of damage to her. Okay, I sh probably should have reloaded. Two shots isn't enough. You know, this is probably when you need a quad is when you're going against something like this. Oh, God. Watch out for the poison. We gotta watch out for the poison and keep the distance. That's how you're gonna survive. It. Just keep the distance. All right, bring it on, my little queen. Is this all you've got? And just like that, I have finished Coppa Squatter. Can you believe that? I am absolutely amazing. Now I need this officer to shut, 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 shut up so I can collect this meat. There we go. We got my Myler meat. We're going to share that with the village. Now let's get into the entire build that I'm using. Over the build, starting off with the base stats. These are the base stats that make up the in-game railway rifle that we're using for the video. So if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary pair cards equipped. Over the normal pair cards, these are the normal pair cards that make up our in-game commando build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have four, and this one can have bandolier max stats. Out. Ballistic weapon ammo weighs 90% less, and this works fantastic with the railway spikes. We have blocker at 2 stars, take 30% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the maximum amount of damage out of this build. We have ground pounder at 2 stars, automatic rifles reload 20% faster, and you have even better hip fire accuracy. We have tank killer maxed out, your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire at 1 star, vats target slams, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have 9, and this one can have life Give her at one star, gain a total plus 15 to your maximum health. We have Kim Fiend at one star. Any Kims you take lasts 30% longer, and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. We have fireproof maxed out, take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical maxed out. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus five to strength. We have rejuvenated maxed out. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have six, and this one can have tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. We have filled surgery maxed out. Stem packs and radway will now work work much more quickly. We have strange and numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. Over in intelligence, we have 8 and this one can have nerd rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% AP regen. We have demolition expert maxed out. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in agility, we have 15 and this one can have action boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have evasive maxed out. Each agility point adds a plus 3 to damage and energy resist at max 45, no power armor. We have moving target at 
add one star. Gain a plus 15% to damage and energy resistance while sprinting, no power armor. We have Gunfu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% to then 30% to damage to your next three targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 15 and this looking at Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red paste. We have Tormentor at one star. Your rifle attacks have a 5% chance to cripple him. We have Better Criticals maxed out. That's Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. And we have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure your mutations. These are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game railway rifle. Now let's get into our legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game commando build. Starting off in Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Strength at 3 stars. Luck at 3 stars. Far Flung Fireworks at 2 stars. And Funky Duds at 1 star. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor, mutations, and buffs. Over in the armor, we have a full set of unyielding gear, which gives us a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except Endurance when low health. And when you're a low health bloody build, that is absolutely amazing. Over the unarmor, what I'm using is my shielded secret service unarmor, and this gives us a plus 4 to strength, a plus 2 to perception, and a plus 4 to endurance. We have my mercenary company Pitboy 2000 because I think it personally looks absolutely sick. Over my trusty backpack, what I'm using is the standard backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we're using for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, skelly skin, and speed demon. Over the food and kim buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have blight soup to get a plus 50% to our critical damage and if you're a herbivore that is a plus 100% to damage. Next up we have corn soup to get a plus 4 to our perception. We have mutt fruit juice to get a plus 2 to our agility. We have simple fern flower tea to get a plus 2 to our strength and we have tato juice to get us a plus 20 to our max AP. Over in the kim buffs we have overdrive to get a plus 15% to damage for 3 minutes and we have psychotats to get us a plus 25% to damage and a plus 3 to perception for 3 minutes. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more I also made a video over one of the most over powered melee weapons in all fall 76 the auto axe so if you want to check it out i'll link in the screen right now you see that that is my auto axe build <laughs>